Hey, what's going on everybody? Diptesh here, back with another video. So, new Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 laptop options are slowly starting to pop up in the market. And likewise, Lenovo also have their Legion lineup refreshed with the latest AMD APUs and RTX 4000 GPUs. However, notice something. There is the Lenovo Legion Pro with the 7745HX. Then we also have the Lenovo Legion Slim with the 7840HS. Now both 7745HX and the 7840HS are 8 core 16 thread parts and both are based on AMD's Zen 4 architecture. So which one should you pick? Now I have already made a detailed video on this, highly recommend you to watch. But in this video, I'll try to keep it short and simple and explain you the fundamental difference between these two APUs. It's extremely important before you make the buying decision. Before we begin this video guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications. Also, join our telegram community to engage in tech discussions, get reviews from people who actually own these laptops, solve each other's problems and get notified on the best tech deals the earliest. Alright, so let's get straight to the point. For 2023, AMD actually has two lineups for the latest Zen 4 APUs. One is AMD 7040H or HS Phoenix Rage and the other is the Ryzen 7045HX Dragon Range series. One quick look at the specifications of these two lineups, you can see that the Dragon Range APUs go from 6 cores all the way up to 16 cores whereas Phoenix range like all other AMD laptop APUs from the past only have 6 cores and 8 cores options. You will also notice that Dragon range features higher clock speeds and much more L3 cache. However, even though it doesn't come through the spec sheet, there is a massive and fundamental difference between these two lineup of APUs which you must absolutely understand before you make a purchase. Especially when there is a clear overlap between the 7640HS and the 7645HX both with 6 cores and 12 threads and the 7840 or 7940HS and the 7645HX both with 8 cores and 16 threads. So should you opt for Phoenix range or Dragon range when you are looking for 6 cores and 8 cores APUs? Well, that fundamental difference between the two should be your deciding factor. So let's get straight to it. To keep it short and simple, for 2023, AMD's 7045HX laptop APUs are nothing but the same as AMD's desktop Ryzen 7000 APUs. Just solder to the laptop motherboard and running at lower power limit. That's it. The 7645HX is the 7600X, the 7745HX is the 7700X, the 7845HX is the 7900X and the 7945HX is the 7950X. So why does this matter? This matters a lot because there is a difference between AMD's desktop chips and their actual laptop chips that they have been in the market like the Phoenix range and the past APUs like 1500H, 5900HX, 6800H, 6900HX etc. Yes, don't compare past year's HX APUs with this year's 7045HX APUs. So, the difference lies in the structure or design of the APUs. AMD's desktop APUs and likewise, the 7045HX APUs are based on AMD's chiplet architecture, where it's basically using chiplets or core complexes, which actually hosts the cores, up to 8 cores per core complex and they are all connected together using a high-speed interconnect called the Infinity Fabric which runs through a separate always active input-output die. So essentially a 7945HX is like connecting two 7745HX together. That is, it will have two CCDs each with 8 cores. Compare this with AMD's traditional laptop APUs that they have been selling these APUs are all monolithic. The entire APU with all its components is just one block. Now, AMD's chiplet architecture is revolutionary. It helped AMD reduce manufacturing cost 
but at the same time increase core counts as well this is the main reason behind amd's success and what they are today but there is a slight drawback to this architecture one that is a big negative from the perspective of a laptop buyer remember that separate io die yeah that io die is always active and keeps using some power as a result all amd's desktop apus and likewise amd's drag and range laptop apus have slightly higher idle power draw guys this is not about efficiency in terms of performance we know for a fact that amd is quite a bit more efficient than intel what we are talking about is the idle power draw like when you are doing nothing or like doing casual tasks this increased idle power draw caused by the separate io die means any ryzen dragon range 7045 hx laptop you get will have bad battery life yes that great battery life you come to expect from ryzen laptop apus you are not going to find it here with these dragon range laptops this is just a flaw of the chip architecture itself guys on the other hand with phoenix range which is monolithic you are going to get that usual great battery life that you expect from amd laptops and this is where i just don't understand the reason for the existence of the 6 cores and 8 cores dragon range parts what's the point in terms of cpu performance the 7645hx and the 7745hx are within 5 to 10 percent of the 7645hs and the 7840hs while the better bin 7940hs is the same or sometimes faster than the 7745hx some may say that the much more l3 cache capacity with the 76 and 7745hx would mean better gaming performance but these apus are mostly getting paired with laptop 4060 and 4070 gpus which are already mostly gpu bound even with the phoenix range hs chips so the extra cache won't make any practical difference meanwhile the 7640hs the 7840hs and the 7940hs will give nearly two times better battery life compared to the 7645hx and 7745hx which is a far more critical factor for laptops so bottom line is if you really want that cpu muscle go for the 12 core 7845hx or the 16 core 7945hx both of these apus are ridiculously powerful for cpu intensive tasks and i much prefer these over the 13700hx and the 13900hx from intel and if you're staying in the 8 cores or lower range just stick with the 7640hs or the 7840 or 7940hs apus they are plenty powerful and will provide great battery life the 7745hx and the 7645hx just makes no sense to me so that's it for this video guys hope you guys learned something thank you so much for watching make sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications also guys you join the telegram community link is in the description that's it guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace